Hello everybody and welcome back to some mega modded Gungeon. Whoa, that was a lot of lag. Oh my god, the lag. The lag is real. What the hell's going on? Ah! The unimaginable pain. Anyways, <laughs> we'll just pretend that didn't happen and we'll start our run. We'll get it going. I, I don't know if it was like an item I started with or something, but the game didn't like it. Anyways, we're playing some more Gungeon. We have updated some mods. I don't know if it's anything substantial, but I've updated Enter the Beyond and I've updated uh, Planet Side. So we'll see if there's anything new. I don't know. If there is, I'm sure the developers, some bunny and not a bot, will leave comments below so you guys can go and have a look what new additions there are, if any. I might be making stuff up. One of the, th the additions that I do remember though is not a bot said that they think they fixed infinite loading screens. So. I'm going to be rather disappointed if this doesn't load. I, okay, it seems like it is going to load. That'd be so funny if it was like, oh, think I fixed infinite loading screens, then we, we got one on our first thing. What the hell item is this? What the heck is even that? Teleports at enemies upon killing them gives temporary invincibility upon killing. What? So every time we kill an enemy, we're going to teleport towards it. Is that... Am I getting this right? Oh, this is awful. I hate this. <laughs> I like the invincibility, but this is a meme run if I've ever seen one. Do you know what? The invincibility is pretty substantial, actually. Um, this this could end up being quite good. Oh, this is disorientating. Disori re 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 This is something quite intriguing. So why didn't I teleport that time? Sometimes I don't teleport, and I'm not sure why. God damn, this is all sorts of bizarre. Well, this is a, a weird item I've never seen before. It's somewhat impossible for us to take damage right now. Um, this is, yeah, this is cool. Essentially, if I hit my target, and especially if I kill the target, I ain't going down. Uh, I'm just going to grab this ammo for now. I'll come back to you, Mr. Chest. Like, the invincibility is a pretty decent margin here. This is a very... It's a bad item. <laughs> like, I think... And this is from Prismatism, so I don't feel too terrible saying this. This is a bad item, both practically and, like, design-wise, I think. <laughs> it feels just so wrong. But, this is another raccoon. Raccoon City, bitch. But at the same time, like... This is funny, and I kind of like it. <laughs> this is this is our life now. This is the run that we have uh, the run that we have signed up for. I'm not sure why it sometimes doesn't teleport me though. It it just it decides sometimes it won't because it doesn't seem to have a cooldown period either. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, this is it's going to be uh, somewhat of the focal point of this run. We also got oh, is this the one where if we reload it, yeah. We reload it on a full clip and we can put down proximity mines. In fact, I'm fairly sure with this thing, I basically don't want to ever use it normally. I only want to use it for the mines. If I remember correctly, it's, it functions much better that way. Right, let's check our shop out. The eraser is about, and we do have a munchy munchy, so... If I remember correctly, the eraser's real good, right? We should try and get it. Anyways, I know, I know that I have at least a heart spare. I think we have another heart spare there as well, so we can even buy an additional key. Getting a vampire on floor one is always just so important. Anyways, let's grab that, grab that, grab that. I can't remember what it does now, but I just remember it being good. Uh, chance to erase enemy bullets, there you go. Simple as that. So, like, how does this work? Okay. I did not teleport to that guy upon him dying via explosion. I'm assuming it's because the game doesn't count the death as a death by me. Like it doesn't it doesn't count the enemy as killed by me, which is weird. And here's one of the um, new chests from um, Sophia's mod. I forgot about that. We get shock rounds. We'll also check out Lonk as well. Have we not seen the whole map yet? 
Oh shit, I think I think this room over here counts. And of course there's no teleporter anywhere near it. So we're gonna have to make our way over there. I'm trying to think of items that could be like really good with this. I guess anything that ups our roll damage could potentially be very good. I mean, honestly, starting off with a shotgun is very is like very impressive with this setup. Like, a shotgun seems to complement this so nicely. Right. Map complete. And we get the Executioner's Shells. I don't know what this does, but I'm guessing it'll be shotguns die in a single hit, maybe? Doubles damage against enemies with maximum HP. This is another Prismatism one. It's the Prismatism run, and also, yet another thing that goes very, very nicely with our whole teleport shtick. Anyways. Okay, while we've got shock rounds, we probably want to use this bad boy. It'd be nice if we had piercing, I'll admit that. I, for some reason, feel like a... Uh, I feel like a flawless just isn't in the cards for me right now. I don't know what it is about this run, but I just, I don't know. I feel, I feel like a flawless is not very viable. <laughs> that was pretty funny. I <laughs> just had to try it and see what happened. Just absolutely lime that dude. We got the mega dowser here. Um, I just need to test something real quick. Okay, apparently shock rounds don't electrify water. Thought they did. Anyways, uh, we do have quite a lot of spare health here, so I think we owe it to ourselves to let this woman munch on us for like, I don't know, let's, let's say like four hits? Just to pay it forward a little bit and have some money for the next floor. I mean, with the executioner's shells or whatever they were called and this teleport thing, we we have a pretty decent setup ready. I'm also going to destroy this because we actually have an okay chance at a junk on room today. It's not like super, super likely, but we have three junk on floor one, which is rather unlikely. I don't think without a key we can destroy that chest. No, we can't. Okay, let's keep it going. This is already a very bizarre room. This has been quite the spicy floor one. It's always like... I know there's a lot of items in modded Gungeon, and I know you don't see that many on a typical run. It's not like the Binding of Isaac where you see, like, tons. But goddamn, how is the still items I've never seen? Especially for Prismatism as well. Like, Prismatism isn't a huge mod. Like, Prismatism only adds, like... I don't, I don't even know how many items it adds, but I know it's not, it's not like, a ton. Are you kidding me? Okay, I can get hurt by it if it just drops me off the map when I teleport to the enemy. That was fair and balanced. <laughs> this is this is a lot of fun, actually. I, t I take back what I said. Design-wise, this thing's amazing. Outright incredible. Oh my god, this is so disorientating, though. It's the camera. Oh, it's just awful. It's just awful. <laughs> I'm surprised I'm not killing more things in one hit, considering the extra damage. But, saying that, I have a theory now. I've just come up with a theory. It says... Deal double damage to enemies at maximum HP. So I bet only the first pellet that hits the enemy is dealing double damage. The rest of them are just dealing normal damage. Um, Shell Snake Oil... Glooper... And unstabullets. Unstabullets. I think I have to take unstabullets because they sound funky. Um, these bullets were forged with lead from beyond the curtain. They seem to shift their positions fairly unpredictably. Oh my god, this run is getting strange. We'll also take Gloopy too because it seems like it could be fun. Oh, I... Uh... I reloaded and just threw the gun. Okay, this is... I think we're in for a wild ride here, people. I definitely need some more HP. I might even buy some. I may have been a little hasty with... Uh, with letting the woman munch on me. Oh, bollocks. Okay, Gloopy isn't good. 
it hurt me when I threw it. Um, I'm definitely going to need some, uh, some HP here. I definitely don't want to die on this run. 36. Why? I only have 35 pennies. You have to be so callous. That was scary. This is not okay. Oh, for fuck's sake! I, I, I genuinely can't hurt enemies that are over gaps. I might just die. Oh my lord. Like, shooting an enemy near a gap is like a pretty much death sentence. How much curse do we currently have? We don't have any. Let's take some curse. I think curse is a pretty good idea right now. Just to try and up our ammo drops a little bit. Because at the minute, ammo drops in coming to us too quickly. What hit me then? Did I get the invincibility like while? Well, I don't even know. I don't even know. I feel like I'm destined to die on this run, just based, based on how things are going right now. The invincibility is just so janky. It's sometimes I get it, other times I don't. I, 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 I can't kill this bat. I will, I will fall into the pit. This is horrible. <laughs> this is genuinely horrible. Oh my god, this this has gone awry. This has gone awry. I was I had I had so much confidence in this run with this with this whole strategy and, and now my confidence I don't know. Leaves something to be desired. I I just I think I definitely need better weaponry. My weaponry right now is like severely letting me down. Right, despite the fact that I probably should buy more HP, I'm gonna buy a key and hope we get a gun from whatever chest this might be. Because, like, this thing's good, but its alt fire mode is really what it's all about. Like, the normal firing mode isn't really doing much for us, so it's, like, not that great. And then the shotgun doesn't really take full advantage of the, um, of the extra damage. And, of course, we get an item. Death Warren. A yet another new item. Um, a, a death warrant granted to you by law. I'm going to go and see what that does, because this does not give me any clues whatsoever. Hot tip, people. Make sure that your item descriptions actually say what the items do. Passive item. Death Warrant. On entering a room, a random enemy is marked for death, making them take extra damage. If a boss is marked, it only takes 25% more damage. Uh, marked enemies have a floating skull above them. Okay, so to be fair, may maybe maybe in this case it doesn't need it, because upon entering a room with an enemy, you'll immediately know what it does. But still, my point still stands. That's a pretty cool animation. Why did I get hit? I'm going to die. Because this is shit. I'm gonna die. Because this is just being mean to me. Oh, I'm so dead. He ate a different one. I didn't even realize there was a different one about.
Come on. There you go. Oh, my lord. God diggity damn. Now, now I just want to quickly check something out here, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, what? I've been lied to. Infinite ammo in my ass. I have been deceived. It said it had infinite ammo. I can't believe you've done this. Also, I'm getting rid of this gun. I don't, I don't know what it is, but I do not like it. And I do not want it. I don't want anything to do with it. <laughs> It seemed, like, I'm not sure if it was exactly what happened, but it seemed that when I didn't reload before emptying my magazine, I took damage. I'm not sure if that was just because I got hit by a bullet at the exact same time or what, but I still don't want a, a gun that I constantly throw without much control over. Well, uh, you do have control over it. I just don't like the way I control it. <laughs> More to the point. I really like this, uh, this bounty. Uh, the graphic for it's really cool. Oh my lord. I just, I can't avoid falling in pits because of this stupid thing. What, what is it, the uh, Amulet of the Pit Lord or whatever it's called? I can't remember what the item's even called now, but I want that. Whatever the item is called, I want it. Ammo, thank god. The Huntsman? The Huntsman's pretty good. But again, we can we kind of need something that's like reasonably high ammo that does a like that does decent damage on the first hit, like that we can do decent damage on the first hit, should I say? A shotgun's not really performing to the to the peakest of capabilities. Also, I don't get what keeps like zapping enemies at a range. Sometimes is this to do, to do with the unpredictable at things? Hate this. The movement here is janking me out. That's a turret. Yeah, um, I've not, I've not really noticed the sporadic movement so much. Maybe I'll notice it more with, I don't know. Wait a minute, I need to check something. Right, so let's just get rid of all the ammo in this. I know that seems dumb, but can I then pop this and, no, I can't. Okay. Big sad. Everything about my life has been a lie. Okay. Come over here, you. Hello. Slightly annoying room. Probably made by me. More ammo. Good. We'll take it for this this time. Unfortunately, the cheese strats are not on our side. Uh, I will go in here and buy a key at least. I feel like I, I need to do that. I, I would like the Huntsman. I've got to say I would like it, but I, I need to sort of branch out from shotguns right now. I don't think shotguns are really what I'm looking for. I mean, it's, it's gonna teleport me to the island. That was just fantastic. Thank you. God damn, this is the at the bad to the burn. But some something very special just happened. We just reached the 20 minute mark on the video, which means one thing. If I die, I don't have to do another run. <laughs> 20 minutes is kind of like my acceptable roguelike video length. If I die past 20 minutes, then I'm, I'm, I'm reasonably happy. Barely know what's going on any other time here. Fuck off. You can't be serious. I mean, I'm hoping it will. No, it will. 
I was just about to say, I'm hoping there's a, a, a flag there to make sure it doesn't do this, but I guess I'm just a slave to, uh, to the pits now. So yeah, we'll be dying relatively soon. God damn, that's like the worst possible room we could find. I fell in a pit again? How? I wasn't went near the pit. I don't know how I didn't take damage then, but you dude, you've gotta get out from over that pit. I I, I genuinely cannot attack you right now. No, 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 no. You think you're so cool? Get the frick over here. Closer. Dude. Are you really gonna play it like this? This guy's a goober. I do not like. A race is kinda helping us. I feel like shooting this guy is going to be just a, a terrible time for everyone involved. It's the fact that it doesn't like give you contact immunity. For so like if you if you like bump into an enemy after getting the like invincibility, it just doesn't work sometimes. I don't know. We're definitely dead. New watchers get like this banging synergy now. Not banging, but actually pretty a pretty good synergy. Okay. Right. Let's buy ourselves some armor. I'll buy a half heart as well. Why the hell not? The bomb. Oh, we have a synergy with it. Oh, it's just the shock bomb, right? Oh, demo man. Don't see what that's done. I can't tell. Let's again consult the consult the Google. Um, once more into the breach. Uh, bomb. Nope. Apparently, I need to expand it first. Synergies. Bomb. Oh shit! There's a lot of bomb synergies. I don't. It's, it's a shame I don't remember what the name of the. Uh, the synergy was, isn't it? Or the name of the weapon. I mean, I could just go back. Oh, wait, there you go. Demolition Man. When the Demolition Man uh, is reloaded with an empty clip, a cluster mine will be spawned with no ammo cost. Intriguing. Potentially intriguing. I don't know, though. I think magazine rack it would be better. I think that magazine rack is potentially more fun. I like the way this item is just like a flat 25% DPS up for it, uh, damage up for it to uh, bosses. Also, this thing is sh shredding him right now. Okay. Let's get down here. Oh, look at the damage this thing does. Oh, baby. Okay, we're like, we're like clinging on for dear life right now. We also got another type of bullets. Isn't this like one really good? Isn't this like the one that's just obscenely overpowered? It is. Oh, yes. <laughs> I don't know if it works with beams, but I guess we'll try it and find out. This is the one that's like super aimbot right where it like locks on to enemies and like gives you no spread i can't remember exactly how it works but i remember it being muy bien very spicy but the amount of bullet modifiers we got going right now is crazy i still can't really tell what this one's doing the uh i mean that's another thing we should probably just search right what are they called again unsta bullets unsta bullets unsta bullets it's kind of a weird thing to say really uh 20% damage up. Okay, so that's pretty good. The player has a 20% chance to teleport to the player's cursor when fired. Or teleport to their nearest enemy while dealing 33% less damage. Okay, so it basically... The reason we can't tell what it does 
is because it does what literally happens when we kill any enemy. <laughs> It does. It is giving us a pretty, a pretty sizable damage upgrade though, which is nice. Okay, so let's actually try it with this. Oh, uh, excuse me. What did I get hurt by then? Um, yeah, this is this is the one. The bullets just like lead the charge towards enemies here. Also, what the hell is this room? It was made by me. I can clearly tell that. Doesn't mean I like it. This is bizarre. Might be better off with this. Again, we just need better weaponry. Our weaponry is dog doo doo. Like, we've got some good stuff, but we need better stuff. Like, this is technically still our best weapon, and we started with it. <laughs> But yeah, now like every single like bullet in the uh, in the pellet sort of thing in the pellets, every single pellet in the spread, sorry, is gonna hit. This has gotten quite saucy. Yeah, it's kind of funny. I was like, unstable bullets. How come I haven't noticed what they're doing yet? And then it's like, oh wait, <laughs> it's because the main one of the main effects of it literally does the exact thing that we have an item that occurs every single time. It's kind of funny that you manage to get both of those in the same run. Dodge rolling cheats. Who needs to dodge roll when you can just teleport across a gap? Okay, ooh, a key there's very nice. My god. It's just like, I don't even know what's going on most of the time. Why do my bullets keep trying to target an enemy that's miles away? I've got like a shotgun that's got limited range here, please. Understand that game. Like, now that I'm hitting all my shots because of uh, elite bullets, I'm not having anywhere near as hard of a time. <laughs> Funny that, isn't it? Oh, hello. Gun nerd. Well, doesn't that sound pleasant? I would like to get the gun known. It's like 68, I think. I mean, obviously it's gonna come with some associated curse, which scares me deeply. But I feel I owe it to both you guys and myself to try and get it, because it sounds cool and the sprite's awesome, which probably means it's from planet side. I'm guessing we'll get enough. See, the problem at the minute is I can't really use Magazine Rack because I constantly teleport outside of its radius. Okay, you little spider bro, do your thing, do your thing. Him being jammed is rather annoying here. Okay, more ammo, good, we need that. We've definitely got to the level of curse now where ammo is coming a little more readily. It's good. Still not perfect, but good. We're at 55 so far. I think, like I said, I think it was 68 we need. Needs to go as well. Oh my lord. No, that enemy's not fair. <laughs> I literally can't get away. I suppose I'm rolling outwards when I probably sh should probably be rolling towards the center. That probably makes more sense. It probably is avoidable if you roll towards the center. I, like, I don't even know what's going on right now. <laughs> like, I'm just teleporting like a crazy person. so impossible to keep track. Oh, we've got 73 now, so let's go buy the gun nerd. Okay, so it's a gun. I wasn't expecting that for some reason. Infinite ammo, 
The gun tendril power offers infinite strength as long as it's uh, sated. Worshipped by many. Um, don't really know. I guess we'll figure out soon. Ooh, wow. So I'm wondering how this is going to work with elite bullets. Because I reckon... Strangely. <laughs> I reckon I reckon Bunny is going to be appalled by how much this destroys things. Either that or it won't do anything. They're the two options. It will either destroy Bunny from the inside or it will do literally nothing to help me. At the minute, I can't fire it. So I'm assuming that's what it means by needs to be um, sated. Like, do I need to... Oh, yeah. Okay, it's got like a charge bar here. So this, this mark thing is helping us deal a lot of extra damage to these jammed folk. Extra blank there is rather nice. Okay, yeah. Oh. Ah, this gun sucks. Although with elite bullets, it might be kind of good. It's just really hard to use this thing. I guess I'll try it. Okay, Elite Bullets is definitely affecting it. Do you know what? Considering I no longer have to aim this thing, it's doing pretty well. When you have to aim it, things get a little more skewed. When you don't have to aim, I like it. Funny how that works, isn't it? Okay, I need to itch my eye. It's being a real bitch right now. Oh. Okay, so I've learned that I can just pile up bullets on this guy's body. So that's what I'm gonna do. Chunk. <laughs> Look at that huge damage chunk there. And then, uh, of course, the eraser is doing a good job right now. There you go, that wasn't too bad at all. This gun's actually... What the fuck is that? Um, Bunny did say there'd be something intriguing. What is this? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what is this? Hello. Unbreakable Spirit, the Gunslinger, and the All-Seeing Eye. This is rather intriguing. Um, Okay, I didn't... I don't know what that did because I've not gained it into my inventory anywhere. And the Unbreakable Spirit. And then... I don't know what these are. Let's take all of them. Why not? Okay, you have to take all of them, I think. Because now it lets through. Please don't crash, because this is really cool. Feels like it's crashed. Yeah. Not... Looking too good, right? Right, let's let's I don't know where this is supposed to take us, which is kinda iffy. It's making the game lag a lot. Wait, let's okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna quickly like let this play out for a minute and see what happens. Be right back. Okay, we return. I believe I fixed it, yes. There is one problem, however. I now have none of my stuff. Okay, one moment. One moment. Okay, after a mishap, I don't really know what happened, but all of my items just disappeared. So I've been giving myself them back. In fact, I need to give myself an extra heart because I believe I had four. Uh, but I've given myself back everything that I can remember. We had this, this, and then item-wise, we had these bullet modifiers, executioner's rounds, and that ender helmet. So, I don't know 
if that's everything. By the way, you might also notice that my ammo has been drastically reduced. That's because one of those little things that we picked up in that last little new area... Oh my god. This is a horrible room for us. In that last little new area... Oh ho ho ho, this is pain! Honesty. We're also um, a convict now, apparently. Uh, but yeah. For some reason, it reset all my stuff. But now I've got it back. But yeah, one of the blessings reduces our max ammo by 60%, which is huge, very annoying, but it increases our thrown weapon damage by a ton, apparently. So, kind of an intriguing one there. I definitely prefer the ammo, I've got to admit. But I prefer. But, hey her. Right. I want to see how badly this, like, messes things up with elite bullets. Uh, not at all, apparently. Is? Wait. What? Am I, am I, okay, I'm trying to suss out. Am I really bad with that weapon? Or does it suck? <laughs> Curse the bullets unlocked, apparently. God damn. Been waiting a while for that one. Yeah, I'd, I'd very much like to have my ammo back, but that's the way the world works, I guess. I mean, I suppose we can have some interesting fun with weapon throwing. Stop being over pits, please. Rather infuriating. At least we're getting a lot of ammo drops to, like, subsidize what we're losing. Oh, <laughs> stop with this bullshit. It's because it, it's like it carries your momentum. So if you're like, also, I'm stuck here. <laughs> if you're like moving to the left and then teleport to an enemy, you're still moving to the left. <laughs> And it messes you up. Also, uh, elite bullets targeting these little things is slightly annoying. Okay, I've got to get like right up in the face of the enemy. Oh my god, this room. Will it ever end? Oh, <laughs> stop. Okay. Okay, let's keep it going. It's actually, like, impressive how well we're doing with all this crap that we got going on. As I said, though, I'm a little annoyed at our ammo situation now. This, this thrown weapon damage better be, like, hella good. Also, I need to try this again. It, like... It doesn't seem very good. I fell in a pit again. I suppose you can fire it and then switch weapons. So, in its infinite ammo. So, me, me, I, okay. Thinking about it like that probably is actually pretty good. Because it's infinite ammo. It charges up reasonably quickly. But I kind of feel like the dueling laser so far is, from what I've seen, is a little better. Oh, God. Time to test its might. Um, what the fuck just happened then? Oh, it comes back to me, okay. Why? Is it. Is it shooting him while. What the hell? <laughs> It, like, hovers around. That's really cool. It's just, like, chilling, shooting. Look at this. That's awesome. Okay, I really like that. <laughs> I don't care about my ammo anymore. I don't give a damn about my ammo. I have guns that, like, fly through the air and return back to me. Hull breakers. Hull breakers. You're greater damage to yet undamaged enemies. Exactly the same as Executioner's Shells. That's going to be quite a powerful combination. 
It's weird how we got two different items from two different mods that teleport us towards enemies. And two different items from two different mods that deal extra damage to undamaged enemies. I like this. <laughs> this is cool. I definitely don't think we're going to be beating the dragon on this run, I've got to say. Is there a reason this guy won't die? This is, like, way too many shots. Um, There are a particular reason as to why you're invincible, sir. Okay. Um, possible bug with the gunslingers thing. Okay, let's let's try this out. Okay, yeah, it has rendered my gun completely useless. Oh, we did get a revive there. That's rather nice. Did revive us at very low HP though. But yeah, I feel like it's rendered our uh, weaponry completely useless here. And to test this theory. Upon further inspection, it most definitely has rendered it completely useless. It's really cool, though. The electric is uh, constantly hurting me, which is just fantastic. Okay, looks like we're going down here. I just yeeted it off and out. Why did I even... What was I trying to do there? I want to throw the infinite ammo thing, but I know that I can't. Come on, shotgun. Get him. Elite bullets, unfortunately, is not taking effect. It keeps trying to shoot the hand. Stop trying to shoot the hand. You can't shoot the hand. Also, what happens now? Because I don't have my gun with me anymore. Oh, God. Okay. I, I got to admit, I don't think I'll ever pick up the Gunslinger's one again. It's 60% ammo reduction. It's cool, but it ain't worth it. Anyways, that's going to end off this run. That was bizarre. I hope you guys enjoyed that nonetheless, and I'll see you guys in the next one.